FAX-SS is the vulnerability that has been found on the website since the 1990s. It was introduced by some Microsoft security engineers in January 2000. Cross-site scripting, or XSS, is an attack in which the attackers try to insert some malicious code snippets in the website input tags. When those websites are delivered to the user's browser, the injected script can modify the look and behavior of it and even take actions in the background without the user knowing it. JavaScript is one of the most common forms of programming languages vulnerable to cross-site scripting attacks. XSS attacks often involve running malicious JavaScript code as part of an attack. However, other programming languages, especially HTML, Flash, VBScript, and ActiveX, are not immune to such attacks. Commonly affected vehicles for cross-site scripting attacks include web forums, message boards, web pages that allow comments, and other user input forms. Web applications that use unsanitized user input for generated output are especially vulnerable to XSS. XSS by itself can't give us the shell to the server, but it can be chained with some other attacks to do a huge damage. If a malicious actor gets an XSS vulnerability in a website, he can steal cookies from the users, which can be later used to log in in their accounts. Also, he can deface a website. XSS exploits a user's trust in a particular site, enabling attackers to send malicious code through a credible website to an unsuspecting user's browser. This vulnerability arises when an application fails to sanitize input data before including it in web page content. Consequently, if proper escaping is not implemented, browsers may interpret this unvalidated input as legitimate script or HTML elements executed within the page's context. Cybercriminals can use cross-site scripting attacks to execute phishing schemes, steal personal information, and facilitate identity theft, as well as carry out a range of malicious activities like compromised user sessions, website defacement, and even complete control over the affected user's account. There are many types of XSS attack, but the three major of them are reflected XSS, DOM-based XSS, and stored XSS. In reflected XSS, the malicious payload is included in the request to the web server and then reflected back in the web page's response. Reflected cross-site scripting, or non-persistent XSS, is the common form of these types of attacks. The term non-persistent indicates that the payload is not persistently stored on the server and the attack is typically executed through a single request or response cycle. It's commonly executed through social engineering techniques, such as using malicious links or other deceptive content to deceive users into making a request to the server, which then reflects the payload back to the victim's browser. Stored XSS is the most damaging type of XSS. In stored XSS attacks, the malicious payload is stored on the target server, such as in a database, and is then served to the victim's browser when they access the affected page. For instance, an attacker could inject a malicious script into a comment field on a blog, website, or forum. When a user later views the page and the comment is retrieved from the server, the malicious script is executed in their browser. The persistent nature of this type of XSS attack means that the malicious code is not only stored, but also automatically served to users, making it particularly dangerous. The persistence of the attack allows it to impact multiple users without the attacker needing to continuously distribute the malicious payload. DOM-based XSS attack occurs when the client-side script in a web page's DOM is manipulated to execute the threat actor's malicious payload. Unlike reflected and stored XSS, the payload in DOM-based XSS does not necessarily involve a server response. Instead, the attack is executed entirely on the client side. In short, DOM-based cross-site scripting exploits the client-side environment to execute malicious payloads, which can have serious consequences if not properly mitigated. An XSS attack can lead to data exfiltration, means an attacker can exfiltrate useful data like passwords, cookies, sessions, etc. He can also deface the website or spread misinformation using it, or even use this XSS along with some other attacks to cause bigger problems. To prevent XSS, user input should be validated. Always check and sanitize input from users or other systems. Validation helps prevent malicious data from being processed. Secure framework should be used and software should be updated regularly. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you today. If you found this video useful, please have a subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for more cyber content.